So this is the uh, Zerg Victory, and this basically is a, like an overmined spore that is now planting itself, and uh, of course wherever the overmine grows, the Zergs converge. So they've pretty much just wrecked this place. This was the uh, this was the Protoss homeworld at one time. It was happy. Would have been nice to show the Protoss homeworld before. Yeah, it looked like this. Would have been again, nice. We, Oh, well. Time constraints and story constraints. The thing is, you know, we were always working under the gun on this stuff. We always thought we didn't have enough time, we didn't have enough time because the game actually was delayed, and so we thought that we had a lot less time than we wound up having. Of course, we wound up using every minute of it, but what we wound up using it for was all these extras. That's why we have so many little ones we were able to throw in. And, you know, looking back on this now, I just think, our tools were just so primitive. We did not even, we weren't even compositing these shots. Or if we were compositing, we were basically doing them in, in camera, in the program. So we would, we would shoot it and then run it back through as a plate and shoot some more geometry on top of the plate and then do that again and again and layer it. And, uh, it's pretty clunky. This is kind of funny. Watch the fire on the left. It just sort of stops. Whoops. And here comes the overmind. So yeah, it's the overmind energy field uh, freezing everything around it. Right. <laughs>